The name Arnott is synonymous with biscuits in Australia. The founder of the biscuit company was William Arnott, who emigrated from Scotland to Australia in 1848 at the age of 20. Today, the Arnott's company is the largest producer of biscuits in Australia and employs around 2,400 people. The company has employed over 50,000 Australians over its 150-year history. William Arnott, the founder, was a sincere Christian, noted for his lovable and kindly nature. He and his wife were active in philanthropic work and in the Methodist Church. In 1857 he was elected a trustee of the church in Maitland, New South Wales. When living in Newcastle he was connected with the Sunday school for 24 years and was its superintendent for 20 of those years. His success grew out of his Christian principles and was founded on hard work, integrity and insistence on quality. William Arnott was born on 6th of December 1827 in Parthhead, Scotland, where he was apprenticed to a baker and confectioner. He and his family came to Australia, arriving at Sydney in 1848. He and his brother worked as bakers in the country town of Maitland and then went to Turon River gold diggings. William had no luck as a gold miner, but he did well baking bread and pies on the field. In 1853, aged 26, he returned to work in Maitland as a baker and pastry cook. He prospered there until floods washed him out and he went into debt. He married in 1850, but sadly his wife died after 15 years of marriage. Arnott moved to Newcastle in 1865, remarried and set up a successful business there. This was the start of his biscuit company. His company became famous for breads and cakes, but especially for sweet and plain biscuits and ship's biscuits. There was a big need for ship's biscuits at the time with a growing number of ships in port. Between 1869 and 1876 he acquired land in Newcastle and built a family home and a factory fitted with the latest machinery. From 1882 his biscuits were sent by ship to Sydney where they sold well. In 1888 the family moved to Mayfield near Newcastle and in 1894 he bought a factory in Sydney and took his sons into partnership. He had some 40 employees in 1880 and by 1894 the number had increased to nearly 800 in Sydney and Newcastle. William Arnott retired in 1899 and moved to Strathfield near Sydney where he died in 1901. His sons continued the business and it continued to grow. The family held ownership of the company until 1975. In 1997, the public company was acquired in full by the Campbell Soup Company of North America. Arnott was known for his honesty in business dealings. In 1883, he repaid in full his 21-year-old debt to his 1862 Maitland creditors. They were so impressed that they presented him with a gold medal and held a luncheon in his honour. For recreation, he enjoyed rifle shooting. He joined the Volunteer Rifle Corps in 1860 and won the first three contests for the Silver Belt, presented by the Mayor of Maitland. The name Arnott's is synonymous with Australia's favourite biscuits, the Milk Arrowroot, Monte Carlo, Iced Vovo, Scotch Finger, Tim Tam, Shapes, Vita Wheats and Cruskets. There are 125 different biscuits in the Arnott range. Arnott's biscuits are sold in 40 countries worldwide. They supply the Australian domestic market from three state-of-the-art Arnott's bakeries in Huntingwood, New South Wales, Virginia, Queensland and Marlston, South Australia. It is estimated that Arnott's biscuits will be found in 95% of Australian households. We salute a Christian, William Arnott, an honest and successful businessman who provided jobs for Australians and manufactured food products to meet Australians' needs. Christians remain.